All right, guys, here we are. We're just going on a home, turn around, and now we're doing a house tour, an empty house tour, that's a thing. So it's not completely empty. We have some stuff on the counters because we're starting the move-in process. I wasn't gonna do one of these because I figured people had seen enough of it in our home sweet tales, but oh. people are asking. So, and we, we look disheveled, both of us, because it's moving day. It's moving day, I'm not, I'm not here to print. He's, he's like, I'm not here to impress anyone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we walk in, this is the entryway, or foyer, or whatever you want to call it. Foyer. So, over here is our dining room. Pretty. Mm -hmm. And then, you should, you should close those doors and then open them with a flourish. And over here, ta-da! <laughs> oh, worth it. We have Kyle's office. Well, the house office, I should say, the house studies. Yeah, so this is the yeah, it's house not gonna study. It's not gonna be a man it's cave. Not, it's, it's gonna it's look not, nice, yeah, no but way. it's Kyle's room. It's not facing office, but... Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's Kyle's space. It's his. He's, he's got his own little office. And so, um, yeah, here it is. It's pretty. And Kyle, you forgot to show in the closet. Gosh. Actually, it's funny. Most offices like this don't have closets. Okay. They just assume you're gonna have your built-in storage and we're gonna put shelving in here, but oh my gosh, especially four kids. Heck yeah, we want storage everywhere. So this is nice to have. Yeah. We have a half bath. <laughs> and, oh, see, not an empty house. Oh, we did put toilet paper in. So that was our first housewarming gift from Kyle's dad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a half bath, nothing exciting. We had a half bath. Everybody, it, yeah, I, I, we had a half bath in the other. So I did pick out this frame mirror though that I love so much. It's really pretty and pretty tile. And that's, that's that, not exciting. So I love all the little alcoves here. Like a plant right there would be really pretty, wouldn't it? Kyle likes plants. <laughs> it is Halloween time. <laughs> Someone's gonna watch us at, at Christmas and be like, oh, irrelevant. <laughs> so we'll go upstairs in a minute. And then over here is the kind of mudroom laundry nook. I'll turn the light on, but um, just the laundry room with the same tile repeating from the bathroom. So yay, and then got this little space here. You could put something on and then we have kind of a little closet. I'm gonna put the kids, um, they can put their, their kind of everyday shoes in here and uh, I'm gonna put little hooks on the door just like our old house. And it basically kind of use it like a little midi mudroom closet, but also obviously we can do, but I'm gonna have little baskets for their school stuff and you know, it's, it'll be nice to have. So they can come home and put everything right away like they're supposed to. <laughs> and they repeat the like arches and things like that. And then over here, this is our, here, go show them how big it is. It goes back farther than it looks on camera. <laughs> you found a little present? <laughs> I should just shrink you down and make you look that big. <laughs> just keep walking. <laughs> like in Willy Wonka or yeah, something, yeah. Right, uh, we'll, we'll, uh... <laughs> well, here, turn off the light, sweetie. But this is, um, it's, just a storage closet, but it's also would be our shelter. If we get the inclement weather. All right, so this is where we have kind of a mess, but yeah. So we, uh, sorry, it's not. If you wanna see it more pristine, you can watch other videos. And so here's our kitchen, and this is our, our sub, people were asking me what this was. It was, it's dove gray glass subway tile in a herringbone pattern. Did I get that right? I win. And also, um, the lights, kind of, honey, it's over there. It's on that side. We have under cabinet lighting we did, which is really awesome. If you can, I mean, you could tell better at night, but we do have under cabinet lighting. So we um, got this, we did extra on the cabinets. The, ha the, ha the cabinets were built for us and they added this so that you can't see <laughs> the under cabinet lighting. So it looks, looks really pretty at night. And then it lights up under here too, under the, the microwave so that you have the same effect. Turn it off. Yeah, and I like a lot of details in this kitchen. Like I have my under range extra drawers there and lots of storage. And I have a um, 
farmhouse sink and stainless steel a 60 40 split which is awesome i love split sinks but i also love farmhouse sinks and the white style didn't work here with our design yeah. and i am in love with the stainless steel style i think it just looks ah oh, what do you think you love it i love it it looks really great there's a big lip around the entire thing and so we can put lots of uh, bar stools and stuff to have lots of extra seating. And over here, um, back in the kitchen, so just we have our fridge, which we just got, which is really awesome. Kyle made a memo. <laughs> I also made a to-do list. You put, you put ham on the to-do list, ham. Look, that's inside. I should do a review on this fridge. Let's try Dr. Pepper. So that's inside the fridge, it has a camera. And you can see this from the app, uh, oh, like when you're not at home, right? I don't know, like your to-do list of ham. To-do, ham. All right, here, Tony, turn the light back on in the that's kitchen. I guess so. I'm, I'm not gonna go out in the garage, but there's a garage. And we do have, there's there's extra wraparound storage space. Kyle, disappear that way so they can see it. Yeah, there it goes. I know, there's too many. They left us a bunch of building materials. But anyway, I'm not gonna go, we're not gonna go explore the entire garage, but over here we had a, it's a higher voltage, right, uh, plug-in? Yeah. Right there, that plug-in, um, and that's for the fridge. Like we're gonna have an, a fridge out here too, a secondary fridge, so, yay. But anyway, just a garage. It does have extra storage in there though, it's bigger than an old garage, which family of four we're gonna use. Here's my pantry. I'm not gonna walk into the whole thing, but it goes back that way. It goes back around, and uh, yeah. Then double ovens, which a lot of you were, when we first started building, were like, get double ovens, and I did. I said, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> so, yay, double ovens for the win. And then over here, this is really nice. If you were a homeschooling parent, this would be so great for you, but I'm gonna use this for art supplies and stuff. It's a secondary pantry. And I just love it because I used art supplies and things like that. I used a cabinet in our old house and I had to give up a cabinet basically to keep that stuff and it was harder to keep it organized. This is, this is gonna be awesome, especially again with so many kids. We have, um, that goes to our master, so we'll show that in a minute, but um, this is our living room and this is the stone fireplace we were so excited about. So a masonry guy actually came in and did this by hand. One guy, right? He hand did this. He had to set up scaffolding and everything, and I, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. This was, this is something we splurged on. I've always wanted a stone fireplace. Kyle likes them too. And here, Kyle, go up, buy it. Yeah. It does have, we just got a housewarming gift, so that's there. Oh, yeah. So to kind of put it in perspective, Kyle's six too, and like, look at that. Like, can't even. And it looks even better from like upstairs. It's so, so pretty. How big it is. I really love it though so much and that's just a nice cedar pink, uh, plank and uh, stain to match and we just think it looks really nice. I'm really excited about it. I love it. And we have lots of windows in here. I like lots of light, natural light. All right Kyle, what else? There's a patio out there. I don't think we need to go out there but it wraps around. It comes up this way and wraps around that way. And we put in extra fans and there's lots of light out there. Our old patio in our old house was always pretty dark. So even with lighting. So this one I wanted it to be brighter and it is. So right here is the breakfast room. So there'll be a table here. Then over here, Kyle's in the sunroom. And again, if you notice the arches continue. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to say is I love this archway here. I think it's so pretty. And I love when houses have stuff like that and they continue that throughout the whole house. Our old house did arches well too, I thought. But it's just so pretty. It just really adds a nice touch. So yeah, it continues over here. Here's the sunroom. So lots of light. And we could sit in here and watch the kids play, which would be awesome. And one thing I wanna notice, you guys see this crown molding? The reason I'm pointing it out is because you come over here to my office which isn't as pretty the way they did that. And I don't have crown molding, but they're putting it in. I wonder when, this week maybe, next week probably? It's sometime in the next week or two. I'm gonna get crown molding in my office as well. And I have the same French doors as the front office because it looks really pretty 
from out there and in here. Yay. And so, yeah, I'm gonna get a, um, Kyle wants to do built-ins. It's not that I don't, but. I don't want to do built-ins, I want to consider built-ins. Yeah, well, if he's right, it's just I'm I'm anxious to get my office started and built-ins take, it's, when you, you have to, someone makes them for you and so you are on their timeline. And anyway, if we do it, we're gonna put them back there. And then I'll have a desk here and I can have like a little console over here and a TV. I'm excited. I'm gonna put like a little extra occasional chair and it's got the three big windows so I have good lighting. And I just love it, I love it. I can't believe I have my own office space. I think that's awesome. It's gonna be craft room, wrapping paper room <laughs> for like wrapping stuff. And um, my office, like, yes. All right, we got again little squeakers over here. So we're gonna come into this little area here and go into our bedroom. Yeah, the bay window style we did that it's really pretty and then here's the bathroom and I did want to point out we did these like French doors here which I think really adds a nice touch so here's the bathroom so, turn on the other light there's lots so yeah lots of light which is good that's good it's just like hard to remember and what then this lets in a ton of natural light so I have this frame so this frame here it's the same frame from the half bath just and it obviously cut differently. So you like it, Kyle? It's pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so this will be my vanity area. This is Kyle's, and I like some of the stuff like under. Hey, just... <laughs> you don't need all Wait this space. Wait a minute. <laughs> and my, I have to get the girls ready, and they always come down to my bathroom, even though they have their own. So uh, I do like under the uh, under the granite. They have like this little display area. Display area. I thought that was a really nice touch. And then, it's gonna replace your little white thing around the, the bathtub. Yeah. Put all that. Yeah, I can just put it here and make it look pretty. So the floors are this. These we we splurged on these floors too. This is a marble, right? Yeah, that's awesome. It's a marble. It was like, oh, it's so pretty. And you could cut it in different ways. Yeah. And we cut. We we so want it to look a little bit more distinctive. So we did. Rectangles mm -hmm. offset. So we did an offset rectangle. We did rectangles in an offset pattern and. I love how it turned out. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah, and we, we extended it up the bathtub and even on the backsplash. And then over here in the shower, look at that. It goes all the way up. And then on the inside is a coordinating gray little square tiles for the bottom. But even the marbles, even on the seat. It just like looked really pretty. We really liked it. And then here is the toilet area. The toilet. Yeah, linen uh, a linen closet. In here. And then our closet, which comes back and it goes back that way. That extends back there. Oh yeah, Kyle was pointing out the alcoves and the, I mean, I'm what are we even gonna I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> no, we're not. So yeah, there are lots of little alcoves. We'll figure that out, I guess. So this is the stairwell. Which I love them. To match the floors, obviously. Yeah. Nice carpet. Nice little curved staircase, which is pretty. And of course, like you've got the nice uh, iron uh, balance rod. Stairs, and you come into our open game room, and it looks out over the two, like the one, like you can see the same balustrades, which are pretty, and then look out over the fireplace now. This is a nice one up here. It's just a nice view down the living room, so that all the kids will be yelling at us for you all the time. <laughs> so, nice game room, nice good size. So, this is the movie room. What's this? This is the, yeah, we keep we call it movie room or media room. It's going to be a big TV room. Couch and let them play video games. Leaving those two rooms, what you got left up here is four bedrooms and two baths. So we'll come room by room. So you come right off the media room. This is very similar. He picked the room picked by the, room movie, the movie, room. movie room. He is. He tells everyone about it. Yeah. Super excited. And the bedrooms are a lot bigger than the kids' old bedrooms. I mean, maybe it doesn't come across on camera, but they're a really good size. We should. Yeah, we should shorten that. 
And we do have extra storage. That's what that closet's extra storage. Uh, it's like a finished walk, like a mini walkout walk attic. attic. Right. And then they, all the kids have walk-ins, so which is a lot better than the bigger than the old house. Although he didn't even fill his tiny closet in the old house. And then he's got private access to his bathroom, as you can see. And eventually, he and Elizabeth are gonna share, but she won't need it for a few years, and Sophie's already eight, and eventually if they, when they're old enough to care. Mm -hmm. Kyle, you always share the bathroom with Lindsay. Oh, yeah. pretty much. So, all right, and then here is the, yeah. we, tiled yeah. all the way up. we tiled it all the way up. It just looks nice, we thought. We thought it was a nice look. I know, the one in the other bathroom's not straight either. It's kind of nice. They just, someone just threw it in. It, it's hard, I, I was having trouble filming this the other day. It, this is not just white. It's actually got, it's, it's cultured marble. It's cultured marble, but it's actually, there, you can kind of see, it does have some white on white like veining. It's prettier in person than the camera. And um, we opted, in the model home, they had this, the kind of square, a rectangle sinks, and we thought they looked really sharp, so we did it too. We picked that. You you got you had choices though, but anyway, the the counters look prettier than I can get them to look on film. But they look really pretty. They all tie together really well with the tile. Yes. So, but yeah. So Grayson has his private access, like it's, it's his own little bathroom basically. But it's nice because each kid will have their own. Every kid has their own sink and their own cabinet space, which is amazing. Yes. It's hard to do when you have four kids to have that. That's a blessing. The kids, we keep saying the kids have no idea how lucky they are because most of the time when you have four kids, you share a bedroom. This plan is fantastic. It fits both of our needs, like the parents and the kids, but particularly the kids. I just yeah. think like it's we, a great house this for the is kids. The, like there are other plans that have nice offices and nice Our nicer rooms media room. Nice, yeah, nicer media rooms, nicer master suites and stuff, but they, you know, either one, three bedrooms or two bedrooms. Or if they did have a fourth bedroom, it was downstairs and it was kind of disconnected. Or, yeah, you know, it like felt that. more like a guest room. Yeah. So this is just like, this is the best of both worlds and it turns out like the, like the plan for us, the other part of the house is great. Yeah. So, and it costs less than we were expecting oh, to have to well, spend. That, that so, I mean, well, financially that was a good thing. Yeah, extremely. So, yeah, really, really we were, it was just it in a out. wonderful neighborhood yeah, in like the best school. I mean, but this anyway, is, this, this is, is great. This is a little bit of room. So she actually gets a really nice room. Yeah, this is funny. I actually think this room is so beautiful with the double windows, but neither one of our other girls wanted this room. But And you know what though? This is the only room that doesn't have a private bathroom access. So I think it's fitting for her to have it. Like yeah. the other kids get their own little. Yeah, so there's like pluses and minuses to all the rooms. But like for me, I was just like, this is the. This room is big and beautiful. I think it's the prettiest. And, yeah, and it's, but yeah. whatever, the kids like, you know what though? The kids are all, Grayson, I mean, if you talk to him, his room is made of gold. Like, he's so excited to be next to the movie room. Oh, well, I just said, like, for me, it was like, I would take this room as my office if I had to pick one. Yeah. And then she has a nice big, her closet is huge. Yes, yeah, so we're going to store stuff in there. <laughs> her, her room's going to be the music room. Anyway, it is a beautiful room, though. Actually, and their rooms are all about the same size. They're just laid out differently. Yeah. But hers does, hers is a beautiful room. So this will be the nursery. And this is actually is kind of perfect because the girls, I mean, they already, they love each other very much. So Audrey has, her room is, yeah. And Audrey's room, it's really big. I mean, they're all, they're, again, they're all roughly the same size. Her room just seems really big. I think it's just because it's a square, so you are a rectangle. You just see it. You can shut her closet door. But she does, it's closed right now, but she does have a big window. So it lets in lots of really pretty light. Yeah, and then this is what the girls love. So the girls Jill. have a Jack and Jill bathroom, and they think of this like it's like a like a passageway, like a secret passage. <laughs> That's what they, they. It's funny how much they love this. So they each again have their own wow. sinks, and they each. <laughs> I couldn't even really work. I know. <laughs> they each have their own sink and their own drawers and uh, cabinets, which is great. And it's the same thing. It's hard to see. Oh, you can see it better in this bathroom a little bit. But it's like that, it's really pretty, the culture of marble. But anyway, and then the bathroom area is kind of the same. There's the toilet and the shower. and I do like the nice windows in there on their side, which is nice. But yeah, so now they actually have good counter space. They can get ready. 
a separate toilet? Kind of yeah, thing? like a, one kid could be using the bathroom or taking a shower or a bath, and the, and the other kid can still access brush their teeth, stuff, brush their teeth, do their makeup when they're older, you know, all that stuff. So this is Sophia's room. So Sophia loves this room. It, it only has the one window, but she loves it. Um, I think really the girls just wanted these bedrooms to share the bathroom, which actually is my preference as well. So I was like happy. I was like, yeah. don't argue yeah, with that. Board, yeah. All right. So there you guys have it. We're really happy. We're really excited. excited. Everything kind of fell into place. Like again, it just bang for our buck and this house just could not fit our family more perfectly. The things like we love is just, yeah, each kid has their own bathroom space and their own, their own complete bedrooms and closets and then they still have two different play areas. So when they have friends over and everything, it gives them, they can take, they, someone can be in the media room, someone can be in the game room. Yeah. Yeah, like there's tons of spaces for them to go and have and, and we, <laughs> Kyle and I, it's kind of important to me, like I wanted to, um, Oh, I, I want I, I wanted a house where like the kids would bring their friends here, you know, like yeah. I like I because you know if your kids are in your house playing with their friends here, you kind of know what's happening, you know what's going on, you know, and, who their are. you know who their friends are, and I want that. I want to know my kids' friends. I want them to all feel comfortable here, even if it's loud and chaotic. Like I want that because. I, I mean, I got to when I was in school when I was in high school, I could bring my friends over and. We would have pool parties and stuff, and my parents are always, and I just liked that a lot. I liked it a whole lot. So, and I'm sure my parents, I know they liked it too. They knew they could trust us. They knew we were here, we were safe. So anyway, that's what I wanted. So I feel like we could do that here. And then we have a nice, spacious backyard. Our neighborhood pool literally, what, five minutes away? So there's our house, y'all. Thank you guys for, you kind of follow along the whole process from looking to yeah, it's been buying. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming along on the journey with us. <laughs> and don't expect a fully furnished house tour for like a year. <laughs> because even just for financial reasons, but also just for like, we don't want to rush it. We are not furnishing this whole house and yeah. we're not doing all that immediately. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a slow process. It's gonna be a lot of uh, like fits and starts. Like, okay, we paid that off, what's next? Yeah. We will probably try to do like a whole, like one day maybe. Yeah, you guys, or you'll you just guys, see you it in the block. <laughs> It'll just, block. you'll see it progress. Like, oh, that couch yeah. Thank y'all for watching everything. We I love, really, I love this house. We feel really blessed, huh? Yeah, like super, super fortunate. Super happy. All right, guys. We'll talk to everyone next time. Bye. Bye.